Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Home Makeup. Today we will be talking about peat moss, one of the most common soil medium that we all use in our gardens uh, or in our potting mix when uh, we are talking about house plants or our garden. Stay with us till the end of this video. So first of all, what is peat moss? So peat moss is nothing but decomposed or dead sphagnum moss uh, along with other organic materials. So this peat moss is formed in large peat lands or peat bogs under the water uh, uh, in the absence of oxygen. And it takes millions and millions of years for this peat moss to be formed. Like it takes centuries, like one complete human generation for these peat moss to be formed. So this peat moss is basically dark, fibrous, compacted material which is mined from these peat lands or peat bogs and then processed and then shipped internationally to different countries to be used in gardens. These peat moss can also be used in garden beds, in uh, soilless hydroponic mediums and as potting mix for your house plants. So now let's talk about the advantages of using peat moss in our garden. So benefit number one or advantage number one is that it absorbs and retains a lot of water and moisture in, the, in, its, in itself. So uh, peat moss is very famous for its high absorbency, which means that it can hold several times its weight in water. It can absorb a lot of water and retain that moisture which is needed for the plant roots to grow healthy and happy. Now when we talk about retaining of moisture, we think, oh, retaining moisture means risk of developing root rot. Well, this is the good thing about peat moss that even though it retains a lot of moisture in itself, it still maintains good drainage and good aeration which is necessary for the plants to grow healthy. Benefit number two is uh, it prevents soil compaction. So as I said earlier that the uh, peat moss is very spongy and fibrous in nature which means that it uh, does not compact around the roots even though even after it gets wet or it get it holds a lot of moisture it does not clog the uh, roots the plant roots and it helps to maintain that aeration and the drainage in the soil which is very much needed for the plants to grow happy and healthy benefit number three is that peat moss is disease resistant now disease resistant i mean to say that peat moss is a sterile medium because after it's mined from the peat lands or peat bogs it is uh, processed in large factories and it's made free from any of the microorganisms bacteria, and fungi uh, by making by sterilizing process so it's basically sterilized sterile medium uh, which makes uh, peat moss a perfect uh, growing medium for your seeds or seedlings and even for propagation. Benefit number four is that peat moss is perfect for acid loving plants. So now there are some plants such as blueberries, azaleas, camellias, hydrangeas that love a little bit of acidic soil. So now if your soil is a little bit alkaline, so if you add a little bit of peat moss in it, then it will help to neutralize that alkalinity in the soil. And if you are growing hydrangeas, azaleas or any of the plants that love a little bit of acidic soil, peat moss is a perfect soil mix for that. So you use a little bit of peaty soil for all those plants that love um, acidic soil. So benefit number five is that it holds uh, the nutrients. So as I said in previously that uh, peat moss helps to absorb a lot of water and to retain the moisture in the roots, same way it helps to hold the nutrients as well. So when what happens is when we water our plants every time it drains uh, away the essential nutrients as well such as phosphorus, nitrogen and potassium from the soil and the, the um, soil very soon uh, it gets um, you know deprived of all those nutrients so if you have a peat based potting mix uh, in your pot for your plants then it'll help to hold all those nutrients and prevent the nutrient loss from the soil which will um, in turn help uh, in a better growth and development of your plant. 
Effect number six is that peat moss is uh, everlasting, like it lasts for several years. So if once you apply or you use peat moss in your potting mix or in your garden bed, you can leave it for several years because it takes a long time for peat moss to decompose, uh, which means you do not need to keep on, you know, changing the soil very frequently, uh, unlike the other wood-based uh, potting mixes. So that is another benefit of using peat moss in your garden. Now we will talk about why we should not use peat moss in our garden. So first thing is that peat moss is a non-renewable resource. Yes, it's a non-renewable resource. As I mentioned earlier that peat moss is developed in large peat bogs and peat lands and takes millions and millions of years for this peat moss to be formed underwater in the absence of oxygen. So now if we keep on using peat moss very frequently, it will finish. So once the last bit has been used, it's gone forever. At least for one human generation, it's all gone. And this peat moss just works like a carbon sink uh, in nature. Like it helps to absorb all those carbon dioxide, methane, and many other toxic gases, the greenhouse gases, which are, uh, you know, a contributor for the global warming and climate change. So peat moss absorbs all those gases and if we use all that peat moss, all these gases will be remaining in the air and it will again add on to the global warming and add on uh, to the climate change. So that's a disadvantage and that is why we should stop using peat moss. Another disadvantage is that it um, increases the uh, climate change and it increases the emission of carbon dioxide in the air. So as I said that uh, mining of the peat moss from these peatlands emits a lot of carbon dioxide into the air which is again you know we are not doing any good by using peat moss uh, by mining the peat moss from those peatlands because we are from one side we are talking about plants, greenery, talking about keeping plants inside, purifying the air and blah 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 and on the other side we are using peat moss and we are adding on to the global warming and we are not doing any good to the environment right so instead of peat moss we can use other alternatives we can use sphagnum moss we can use coco coir we can use compost and many other soil mediums and we can stop using peat moss for the sake of our environment sake of our mother nature and our planet the third disadvantage is that peat moss is very expensive as i said that it's mined and then it's processed and it's made sterile and then it's shipped internationally to different countries so all these costs are added into the price of this peat moss which makes is the most um, expensive uh, soil medium in the market so disadvantage number four is that peat moss is infertile so peat moss in itself does not uh, contain any nutrients it does not add on to the nutritive value of the soil so if you are using only peat moss as a potting mix for your plants then your plants are not going to grow very well because they will be still deprived of all the nitrogen phosphorus and other essential nutrients which are which are necessary for a plant to grow so if you are using peat moss as a potting mix you should add compost or worm castings or fertilizer or cow manure or any sort of manure into your potting mix to make it nutritive and Disadvantage number five is that peat moss is slightly too acidic. So peat moss would be preferred by plants like azaleas, camellias, hydrangeas that love the acid, love acid, um, acidic soil. But plants like blackberries, lavender, um, ginger, daylilies or uh, raspberries or blackberries these types of plants they do not like acidic soil uh, you can use neutral soil or alkaline soil for those types of and i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you have any questions or queries do leave them in the comment section and we'll get back to you as soon as possible um, till then stay safe happy gardening bye bye